Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today we will be playing more Pokemon Scarlet. We're doing this training session episode. This is an episode where I pretty much just train my Pokemon whether I'm doing Ace Tournament battles, teaming up with Pokemon trainers online, just Pokemon training, training my Pokemon to level up and to be the best they can be and all that. So there's an event going on at the time I'm recording where you could get Slitherwing and Iron Moth, was it called? So, pretty exciting. I'm taking part with other trainers and I'm gonna give the battle everything I got. Oh, I needed to change my Pokemon, oh well. I wanted to use Walking Wake. I accidentally, out of habit, kinda brought my Coridon along. <laughs> well, let's see how Coridon does. This will be a good example of whether or not you could get through this with or without Coridon. <laughs> this is gonna be an experiment, I guess. Just hang on, buddy. I believe in you. Crydon's able to pull off most Pokemon battles, so I'm hoping Crydon has what it takes even on their own. I mean, they're not alone. We got these other awesome Pokemon trainers with us, but let's just see what happens. Maybe start off with Brick Break. Actually, we'll be okay. And then we'll just Terrastalize and use Collision, of course, and we got this. So it's actually pretty easy. It's nothing too rough. Compared to other raids I've been. Like the Rillaboom event is still just one of the hardest. That and the Mewtwo raid, those were pretty rough, actually. <laughs> just thinking back on some tougher raids I've had to go through with my Pokemon. This is pretty easy in comparison, actually. I just hope these battles might offer a lot of experience candy. I got spoiled big time on the Blessy raids with the experience candy. So I don't know, these battles might not have any kind of experience candy nearly as much as Blissey, tragically. I mean, I hope I could get a lot of Blissey, I mean, experience candy still through these. It just it got boring not connecting online with other players because I wanted to hold on to the Blissey raids. Then I still accidentally connected to internet and then it wasn't at a Blissey raid in particular I wanted to hold on to. It was kind of a different one. One with the undefeatable Mewtwo, which I think that's only possible to win if you team up with players online. It's heard it's not possible doing it solo offline, but what do I know? There's probably some players out there who've actually managed to actually pull it off. Who have managed to do it offline without players? I don't know. It would be interesting. I should see if anyone's managed to actually pull that off. I've seen big YouTubers saying, it's not possible, don't try it, but what if there are players who've actually managed to do it? That would be very interesting, something worth looking into I might do in my free time. Ooh, Slitherwing so fluffy. I'm a catch so someone in Pokemon Home app could have this. I'm still trying to complete my decks in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And now with the Kitakami decks, I'm trying to complete that as well. At the time I'm recording, nobody wants to trade me. I want a... Uh, I don't even know how to say the Pokemon's name. The final evolution of the Unova Pokemon Timber. I really want... But the only thing, nobody wants to trade me. 
It's been since the night before and still nothing. My phone ain't notifying me that someone's traded me yet, so that really stinks. Let's see if we're even getting much candies. Um... We're getting good amounts of candy. Even a little bit goes a long way, I think. Good. Oh. Looks like I got rewards for my Kitakami decks. Let's go accept some of that. We got a... Prism Scale. And a... Three Comet Shards. Ooh, what's this? Friend Ball. A... Scrap of Reaper Cloth. And a Heavy Ball. Well, wait, are we almost towards the end? Wow. Well, 189. 198 battles. We're probably getting close to completing that deck already. <laughs> I've been pretty much going all out with just trying to, well, complete the decks, do what I can to, and the Teal Mask, the Teal Mask DLC, trying to accomplish everything I can. So let's keep looking for these special Terra Raids. I want to help some Pokemon trainers out getting these Pokemon. And then I'm going to give away the ones that I'm getting hold of. Actually, let's go to the box real quick. Let's add this one here. These are just a group of ones I'm going to give away in Pokemon Home. There's another Terra Raid battle just waiting for us. So let's save, of course, in case anything might happen. Um, let's do it this with a group. I think Crydon should be fine. So let's just wait for our team to form. Wow, that was fast. If everyone could just check mark real quick, that would be great. That would be probably the quickest I've had a team join me. Come on, everyone. Pick your Pokemon and let's go. Now, I like this particular Pokemon trainer's profile. Looks like a shiny. That's cool. I think I might have had that shiny in Pokemon Shield, I can't remember. Okay, good. Everybody's ready. That's great. Mm. Here we go, our Slytherin. Kinda looks pretty with all that purple, but that's cause this one's a poison Terra type. Ooh, someone be flashing their shiny for all of us to see. <laughs> pretty shiny. A shiny Pokemon is an unusual Pokemon with a beautiful change of color. They're be showing off their shiny. I don't know why I don't even bother showing off my shiny Pokemon offline. I always just use regular old Coridon. <laughs> I used to in Pokemon Shield bring out shiny Pokemon to battle with uh, for players and raids all the time, but for some reason I don't just bring shiny Pokemon to raids anymore. Well, the Terra raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are way more challenging than how raids were set up in Pokemon Sword and Shield. They were way easier. You could bring a 
nearly just any Pokemon into the raids in Pokemon Sword and Shield. But with this one, it's more strategy based and you need an exact Pokemon to do the job. And yeah, it's more of a challenge in Scarlet and Violet, which I think is kind of interesting. Going from super easy to something that's an interesting challenge. I used to not like tarot reads that much. I wasn't that much of a fan of them. But after joining so many, I kind of like them. They're pretty fun. Oh no, Crydon! Hang in there, buddy. I believe in you. Uh... I'm not gonna bother terrestrializing. My Pokemon's pretty hurt. My buddy be hurting pretty bad. Poor Coridon. Hang in there, buddy. <gasps> oh, Coridon! Ah. Keep break breaking. You got this. I just hope if Crydon does get defeated. Oh, good. Well, that didn't even have to happen. Looks like we were able to defeat them. There we go. Let's, um... Alright, catch. I'm starting to catch these Pokemon even to just give away online. I usually pass and... I just started thinking, what if people actually want these? There we go. Got ourselves a slither wing. Nice, slither wing was caught. Now that's a job well done. That was pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was enjoyable. Be sure to like and subscribe.